Good morning and welcome to Walking and Talking. And my voice is a bit husky. I was listening to a seminar last night and they were getting us to interact, so it was like Aidan wondered what the heck was going on in the kitchen. But it was good fun anyway. So, bringing you back to <coughs> awareness and why I started doing this journey in the first place was to help women with celiac disease and, and sadly suffering from hair loss. And as I've progressed and I've realised that there's more to it than just eating well, it's more about what you're actually doing your actions and it's keeping you aware. So each week now I'm focusing on bringing you closer to understanding why it's so important to stay on track. And this week's topic is awareness. And as I said yesterday, it's actually the funniest thing we just do things blindly. And how many of you have moved job and you drive to your old workplace remembering that you no longer work there and it was just your mind went into autopilot we call it and took you there but how many other things do you do like that every day you drive the car you do a dinner you do this you do that and as us being hairdressers you know we just cut hair automatically but how often are you actually aware of every single movement that you are doing? And this is for me when we're optimizing growing our hair back. So it starts with an action. It starts with a thought, sorry. And that thought then leads to an action. And then when you put the two together, you actually get a feeling with it. But that's not so easy to actually manage because it's your emotions when you attach things like that to it. So it's being aware of your thoughts and what thought pattern you have that will create the action will actually end up you what you're doing and feeling. So if ever any of you have ever given up smoking, so I'm just going to use this for an example because Aidan stopped smoking for almost a year now, and we've we've worked out <coughs> how he's changed and what his why was and why he sort of stayed not smoking. For any of you who are wondering, you know, what did I actually do that broke that habit? Because you know, you wake up in the morning, your routine, you have a cup of tea, you put the kettle on, and as you put the kettle on, you'd like a, light a cigarette up. Boom, that's your first trigger. Or you could be this smoker that has one in the middle of the day with your first cup of coffee, lunch break, and you have a cigarette. Or, most typical one, is you say you're a social smoker. So as you're a social smoker, when do you have your first cigarette? When you have a glass of wine, when you have a beer? But if you were to stop that first trigger, and just say for 21 days, you broke that habit, just that first moment, so instead of making that cup of tea, you went and had a shower first or you went and cleaned your teeth first, or you went and had a walk and a run, you'd break that pattern. If you changed your lunchtime habit and you didn't go and have that cup of coffee at that famous coffee house and you brought your own coffee in and you broke a pattern of going and eating somewhere that was different, or, instead of going to the pub with your mates after work, you went and did a class. You broke that habit. It's only by about breaking the first step that will actually make you realise that you can change patterns. But once you've actually done something and you've realised that you just changed that first step, it's not hard then to actually implement changing and optimising your hair growth by eating that gluten-free option or by doing that massage, or by checking out that you're aware of your emotions. So today is really about showing you that if you've already broken it once, then what's stopping you doing it from another thing? But you have to become aware. So tomorrow I'm gonna to talk to you about the emotions that link, that when you actually make that first step, how does it make you feel? So be ready to be awake, tuned in, and I will tell you more tomorrow.